As we know, Dante devices will automatically discover each other on the network. From there, we use Precision Time Protocol for sync, and that protocol has a process called the BMCA, Best Master Clock Algorithm. That will automatically choose a clock leader on a multitude of parameters. Let's suppose a device is chasing an external word or video sync. That would certainly be common when integrating with video teams that are still using SDI, for instance. OK, no problem. The device that's chasing external clock will be elevated in the process. We figure we probably ought to follow it, because it isn't going to follow us. Finally, we have a preferred leader option. Now this is where you can designate which devices should be allowed to be the clock leader. So of these three systems, the preferred leader is the highest priority. Whatever you choose will win out. After that, any device chasing external clock will win. Now, because preferred leader beats it out, anytime I have a device chasing external clock, I also set it as a preferred leader. And of course, finally, after that, the best clock algorithm will kick in and choose a leader for us. So let's walk through a couple of scenarios and see how this plays out. We'll start with a number of devices at the bottom and step through each step of the election process as a leader is chosen. You can see I have some devices checked for a preferred leader and some for external sync. So let's go through the process. The first question is whether any devices are chosen as preferred leader. In this step, we can see three of them are, so they move on in the election process. The next question is whether any are chasing external sync. Okay, two of them are, so they move on in the election process. At the end, we always have the best clock algorithm, which will choose one of the remaining candidates. And a clock leader is chosen. OK, let's reset. What happens if no devices are chasing external clock? Well, the first step runs as normal. The three devices are selected as preferred leader, so they move ahead in the election process. When we ask if anybody's chasing external clock, no one is. Well, if we end up in a situation where all candidates would be eliminated on a particular step, we instead pass all of those to the next level. Finally, we have the best clock algorithm to choose one leader out of the remaining candidates. Now let's do this one more time. Let's suppose nothing is marked for preferred leader or external sync. Basically, this is what happens when everything comes right out of the box. Well, in the first step, no device is set as preferred leader, so all candidates advance. In the second step, again, no device is set to chase external sync. So again, all candidates advance. And finally, the best clock algorithm will choose one leader. Now let's show this in action. In the Clock Status tab in Dante Controller, we can see all of my devices are getting their clocking information from the Dante network. One device has been chosen as the leader, the rest are followers. Let's suppose I wanted to choose the mixer to be my clock leader. No problem, I can check its preferred leader box, and the mixer takes over that role. You'll notice no devices are muting, it should be a seamless process. Now let's change this around. Let's suppose I want to have a Dante AV video device take over the clock leader role. No problem. I check the preferred leader box for that device, and it takes over. OK, so what happens if I have multiple devices chosen as preferred leader? Well, one of those will be selected as a clock leader. When I remove the video device as a preferred leader, one of the four remaining devices at the bottom will take over. Out of those four, the best clock algorithm will choose for us. All right, so that's a basic demo of preferred leader. Now let's talk about external sync. When you set up a device to chase external sync, you often have to make settings inside the main device, right? Right now, this device knows it's chasing clock from the Dante network. But we can choose to chase the word clock input instead. Now we'll see the mixer mute as it switches to its new clock source. The devices on the network are muting as well, because the new clock is not necessarily close to what our previous clock was. Once everything settles, go into Dante Controller and ensure that the Enable Sync to External checkbox is ticked. Also, under the Clock Source column, you'll note that this device is now receiving clock from an external source. This was a clip from the Dante Certification Program. To learn more, Go to audinate.com slash certify.